What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are checking out some incredible world downloads that you can download and play for yourself. And the first one we have today is Razul. Razul is a Skyrim inspired adventure map. I'm just flying around checking out the map here. We'll go inside this big building and everything. Uh, but you can play this as an adventure map. Just pop yourself into adventure mode and take the path along to enter this fortress and work your way up through it. There's a lot of mobs, there's a lot of chests to get loot out of, and the map just looks incredible as well. I did say that this was Skyrim inspired, uh, very interesting build and you can definitely see some of that inspiration in it, but this is a really fun map, not only to see but also to play through as well. So definitely go ahead and give it a try for yourself. You can find chests with different armor, arrows, uh, food, swords, things like that, and you'll also find big areas of mobs like these rooms here. And as always, if you're interested in down downloading this map or any of the other maps that we're featuring today, all the links for their downloads will be in the description below so you guys can go and download them for yourself, check out the maps, and see what they're about. Next up, if you are a fan of the anime One Piece, then this is going to really excite you because this is One Piece built in Minecraft. The entire world is here. Most of the islands that you'll find in the anime are in this and it is really, really well built. You can see just over here is the red line and it's got the giant One Piece logo. And then if you go across here, you'll be able to find all the different maps and things. And they're laid out in a big island style map, which is really cool. Over here is just the kind of uh, survival maps and color spread maps. And then back over the opposite direction, which we'll head next, is where all the uh, Grand Line maps are. So if you ever wanted to explore Alabasta or Thriller Bark or Shell Town or any of the other places that you can find here, then this is your chance to do so because these are some really incredible maps. Some of my favorites that I've seen so far are Marine Ford, which is right here. Uh, it's got the entire bay here, the defenses, the marine ships, everything, and then white weird ships coming out from the ocean there. So really cool design here. Also, this area looks really accurate as well and even has uh, the main ship from this series, the Thousand Sunny here, uh, completely rebuilt, looks great and fits in with the whole area that's built here. Definitely a really, really well done world and you can explore all the different islands. So definitely go and check that out if you're a fan of One Piece. Now this next one is not quite a world download. This next one is actually a mod. But thus, what this mod does is it makes a maze world. And there's different types of settings that you can see here. Uh, there's the binary tree, the wang tiles, round wang tiles. You can completely change all these different maze types around. I'm just gonna go ahead and load in on this binary tree to show you guys. But it basically creates huge bedrock walls around and you have to navigate this maze in order to survive in Minecraft. It definitely is not for builders. You're not gonna be able to build anything really expansive or cool in this area. But you can see here, this is a really fun world type to play around with. All these walls just kind of directing you. You can find pigs, trees, creepers, everything in this area. So it's still dangerous and it's still Minecraft, but you have a maze to navigate along with it. This mod is for Fabric and there's already a 1.20 version out so you can play even on the newest update. And you can see this is the whole maze that I've generated here. This thing is, it expands for as much as the Minecraft world will expand. It is really, really cool and definitely adds a new level of difficulty to Minecraft that is never, ever present in any other form. Next up, we have Parkour Bridge. Now, this parkour map is a bit different than the parkour map I featured in uh, the last world download video we did. This one has a clear start and finish to it and unfortunately I can't switch into creative to go and show you the whole bridge from the side, but this thing is really, really fun. This is actually one of the most fun maps that I've downloaded as far as parkour. I'm really bad at parkour, didn't know what to expect going into this, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, and I actually was able to finish the whole map. So there's not anything too crazy with it. If you're just getting into Minecraft parkour or just want a world to play around with, this is definitely a great place to start. Most of the jumps and everything are fairly easy 
It did take me about 40 minutes to complete the whole thing, and that's because I don't do Minecraft parkour at all. So if you do do Minecraft parkour, you have a really good chance of finishing this way faster than I did. There's checkpoints throughout this map and different little things you have to do with trees and with snowballs to activate different platforms. So it's a lot of fun, a lot of different moving parts and definitely a really fun map. I went to record for this map and just could not stop playing it. And so this video got delayed by a bit because I ended up playing this map for over an hour. And to prove I actually finished it, here I am at the finish line. It took me, I think, about 40 minutes total to complete the actual parkour map, and then I spent about 20 minutes just exploring some of the extra parkour stuff and looking around at some of the just weird little things that are built in that you don't find the first time you run through it. Next up, we have the 19th century city map. Now this map is really cool if you're really interested uh, in designing some new Kind of European architecture in your Minecraft world, this would be a great world to reference because this map is entirely 19th century European architecture. There's different districts, uh, so you're going to be able to find like a Berlin district, a Paris district, uh, a London district. You're going to be able to find all those and more with all sorts of different builds. There's the Eiffel Tower, Big Ben, a lot of really notable builds. Uh, like from uh, Berlin even. So definitely some very cool building inspiration you can find in this. And even if you just want to tour around some European cities, this is a great way to do it in Minecraft as well. A lot of really fun things you can find. You can tour around inside all the buildings. You can see the giant streets. As far as cities go in Minecraft, this one is really cool just because it's a lot of real world architecture brought into Minecraft and especially it's got such a distinct niche where it's got that 19th century Europe, various countries, and a lot of different builders all putting in their different ideas and builds into this whole world. There is a recommended resource pack for this as well that you can uh, put on. I didn't when I was doing the tour around here, uh, so some of the specific textures they might have been using aren't present in here, but you can still see that this entire area is just 19th century Europe design. And last but definitely not least today, we've got Broville. Now Broville is another city design. Uh, it's actually got a lot of different areas to it. Right here is kind of uh, the center map where you can go out from uh, this area and explore everything else. There is a take me right to the city button, which I really appreciated because I really wanted to explore around the Broville city. They've even got kind of this entrance here, which gives you a map uh, and some other details about the city. But this city is really impressive and massive as well. You can find a lot and lot of different builds in here. Baseball stadiums. There's a whole harbor area where you'll be able to find ships, uh, loading cranes, shipping containers. And then of course the main city that we're kind of looking at here uh, with Brocore right in the background there, the giant skyscraper. It's a lot of different skyscraper builds, stadiums, harbors. Uh, just regular buildings and so much more all packed into this. Definitely a really fun city to explore around and a great city to get a lot of different building inspirations from. This one did have its own resource pack as well and it is enabled here. So that's just going to change some really minor resources uh, or really minor textures around the entire city. But definitely has a small effect that you will be able to notice. But anyways guys, that is all the time that we have for today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it, and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. We cover all things Minecraft, from world downloads to mods to Hermitcraft to mega builds and so much more, so definitely check us out. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.